Hey guys, welcome back. I have one more video tonight, still in my scrubs from work. I did a couple more customs with Kay's. Are you surprised? I'm always driving to work in the morning at like 5 a.m. I get up at, excuse me, get up at four, get ready, get my coffee, and then I like drive to work. And I sit there and listen to all your guys' beautiful wax videos and reviews and think of customs I wanna make. It's so detrimental to myself. Um, I hope this is okay with Carla. She sent me a lot of test scents that are gonna be put out. And I'm gonna talk about them. But somewhere, she, so uh, K's, Carla Meredith owns K's Scented Wax Melts. When she sends out testers, she really appreciates, um, on their Facebook page, they have a testers post where you can put your thoughts on the specific tester scent so they can kind of keep track of it a little bit better. Um, and so I'm going to try really hard to do that this time because they're so kind to send these to me to smell and explain to you guys that I really should do that. I mean, I, they deserve that and I feel bad that I don't always do that. So sorry. Um, but let me do my customs first because almost, almost all my other scents are tester scents. Um, no, let me do this first because these are the only things I order that aren't testers or customs and it's all the same scent. It's Volcano. Um, Lori Brown <laughs> is responsible for this. Um, I have smelled the real Capri Blue Volcano candle like years ago. I remember just feeling like not super impressed by it. And then I've like read the notes of it and I was just like, man, it's like a fruity scent. And now I love it. I don't, Lori has spread <laughs> the volcano love. I don't know. And just like her, um, I want this mixed with fizzy pop at some point. Cause this is like a really good, um, like fresh zingy fruity scent that smells like per like it'd be perfect with fizzy pop. But I got three of the two ounce cups to just try out and see what I like with other scents with it. Sorry, I thought another one of my humans were trying to open the door. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four customs here. Um, let's see. This first one I'm going to talk about because I kind of already told you guys in a video that I was going to make this custom and I just had to and it's amazing. I didn't name this one um, because I think the name kind of says itself. I don't know. So this is Unwind and Peppermint Stick. So Unwind is one of her newer oils. Um, and it has like eucalyptus, mint, orange oil. And I can't remember what else. But it's basically one of those like really relaxing, almost spa-like essential oil almost scent. And then her peppermint stick is her most pepperminty peppermint oil because she does have a few. You guys. You guys, this just needs to be a new scent. <laughs> like in, I love unwind. That oil is amazing. But in my opinion, this makes it better. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so good. So I had her do it 50, 50, 50% 50 unwind and 50% peppermint stick. I wanted it crazy minty. Um, so this is very pepperminty. I'd like to warn you if you decide you want to order it or you're interested in it, but you absolutely still from the unwind, get the eucalyptus, that touch of orange oil. Um, and gosh, what else is in it? There's one other important thing. It's almost like a tiny bit junipery or it's essential oily. I, I almost feel like I can smell lavender in it, but I don't think there is. It's so good, you guys. This smells like crazy strong too, and she just poured it. So, oh, so excited to have that one. Okay, so the next one here, I'm really loving that new oil that's out, the Liquid Cashmere Black, and I got a tester of it from Carla. I've had it from a couple other vendors, and I love it. It's a Donna Karen perfume type, and it's very um, sexy and deep. Like Liquid Cashmere Black is the perfect name for it. As deep and dark as it is, it's still a touch feminine, but to me, there's also a little bit of masculinity in it. It's a very beautiful perfume. And so not I wanted to do something with that perfume, but I've also really been wanting to do something with birch and black pepper. It's such a good masculine oil that I feel like does not get enough love. It's a very fresh, dry wood, peppery masculine oil that I think is so unoffensive. Like I think even people that don't like masculine oils could really love that one. 
So I wanted to put those two together, but I also wanted some sweetness to it because those two scents don't have much sweetness to them. They're both kind of, they're earthy and dry and deep and sexy and beautiful, but I wanted something to kind of round it out to make something just really enjoyable. And so I thought, well, I'm already kind of doing like cologne and perfume. Let's add another perfume. <laughs> so I really love Viva La Juicy, but it is very sweet. So I thought if I do Viva La Juicy, um, Birch and Black Pepper and Liquid Cashmere Black, and I called it the Dang Thing. Right? You guys, this is so good. And if I'm remembering correctly, do I have my slip in here? I think my, my kids take everything, you guys, when I open these boxes. I'm pretty sure that I did Viva La Juicy 50% or 40%. I did a larger uh, percentage of Viva La Juicy because I did want the sweetness there. Um, and I get a lot of Viva La Juicy. But oh my gosh, I get I get all of it. Um, this like makes Viva La Juicy into something that I would wear more than the original Viva La Juicy. Imagine that. This takes Viva La Juicy to a very sensual place. Oh, you guys. This Carla. Perfumey scents are not always my favorite, but every once in a while I just really want one. I am melting this tonight in my room. I know it just got poured. This is amazing. Viva La Juicy, Birch and Black Pepper, Liquid Cashmere Black. This is a sexy Viva La Juicy. It makes it darker, earthier, like... Oh my God, you guys, <laughs> I wish I could explain it better. I really wish I could. This is like that mouthwatering Viva La Juicy with like you're wearing leather added to it. I hope that helps. Next one. Um, so she has another new oil called Cranberry Oak. This is the cranberry that I love. It's the deep, dark, tart, bloody cranberry with a little bit of woods added to it. It's amazing. I have a cup of it. Um, I actually need to do a little review on it. And then she has a newer-ish oil called Nutmeg and Spice. This Nutmeg and Spice um, is a gentle spice because in it is a vanilla. And I think this has caramel in it. But to me, it smells like almost like a custard, like a creamy, thick vanilla custard with light Nutmeg and Spices in it. So there's a sweetness and a creaminess to it. And then I put it together with this really tart juicy dark cranberry and oak and I called it rustic fall I haven't smelled this one yet oh my oh my Carla I don't know if I've ever been this so ha this happy with all my customs together I have one more after this still this is amazing this this smells like Christmas with no tree though. There's no tree note involved here. Like, well, there's oak, but I mean, no, um, like coniferous tree. What in the world? Okay. Whoa. Um, okay. So this allows for that vanilla custard to still be there. It's just barely spiced, but it's there. And that tart cranberry is making my mouth water. Holy cow. This is like vibrant Christmas. This makes me feel happy, loved, Christmas, what? Okay, what, okay. I said I was gonna send haunted house season out to friends. I might send Rustic Fall to friends. Oh my gosh, um, I know, I sorry. I'm trying to think of adjectives to tell you. Okay, so think if you make your own homemade cranberry relish um, and like you put, no, <laughs> I like uh, the cranberry in here is so realistic, but it's like there's logs on the fire from the oak, but there's no smokiness. There's just a rusticness to it. And in my cranberry chutney that I make, I put spices in it. I put clove, um, I put nutmeg, and I put cinnamon. 
You guys, I am dying here. I'm a little bit speechless at this scent. Okay. I Sorry, I've spent enough time on this. Um, I never, like, try to promote, like, try my custom because, like, it's just me and my little brain. I'm thinking of scents. Like, I don't think I'm anything great. I don't think that. I don't think that I think I'm, I don't think I'm amazing for coming up with this. I think Carla's amazing for putting these oils out and offering them to us. I, does that make sense? You must try this. Holy freaking cow. Okay. So funny enough, this is the first one that I thought of. And it's because I've been really wanting to make a custom with her berry topped waffles. If you have not tried Carla's berry topped waffles, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and then recently I had gotten a cup of her marshmallow. And on cold, I wasn't super impressed with it. But on warm, you guys, it's amazing. And then I've just been feeling the oil orange chiffon cake lately, but it's a very strong oil. I can't remember exactly what I did because my kids have done something with my paper. Um, I called this scent smorgasbord because I was thinking of like, you're at like a big brunch or something and you have these berry topped waffles. Um, you have like an orange roll or cake or whatever. And there's marshmallow cream. Like I just was like, this is like a cheat day wax scent, you know, and I call it smorgasbord. So this one is, it's really good. Um, this almost smells like a marshmallow, like a, so like a vanilla and orange cake with strawberries and marshmallow topping. This is really good. I think the orange comes off most and I put, I think I put marshmallow 50% and then I know I made the orange chiffon cake the smallest amount of oil in this one because it's the strongest oil by far. So this is like a marshmallow fluff orange, but there's still definitely like the berry topped waffles in there. I think the berry topped waffles is the least I'm smelling in here, but I'm really, I'm not getting the berry much from it, but I'm really getting the waffle part of it. This is much like, very much like a strawberry orange bakery with marshmallow fluff. So this one I can melt any time of year. So this one is really good. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. But I am not like so blown away like I am with these other scents. Um, it's really good. Do not get me wrong. I'm just not like crazy blown away by it like these other ones. Okay. I need to get to these testers because there's quite a few. Okay. This first one is Rustic Woods and Rum. I wish I could talk about other vendors because this oil is sold by another vendor and it's very popular. Um, and Carla was trying to explain to me that I had talked about this oil before and I really loved it. And I was like, Who, which video are you talking about? I don't want you to know what you're talking about. The second I opened this and smelled it, I was like, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. This is very old worldy tobacco, rum. Oh gosh, I wish I could just tell you what this was. Um, I'm so happy that Carla has this oil now. This is, there's almost no sweetness to this. It's very like tobacco, woods, and rum. Oh God. I had this in a soap from another vendor and I... Could have just died when I used that soap. Um, if anyone's catching my hint about another vendor that makes soaps in some of their scents, I, I just want to say it because it's such a popular scent with that other vendor and no one else has that oil and this is exactly it and holy cow, it's amazing. Okay, I got to move on. Okay, Bright Side. This is a lush, um, I think it's a bubble bar. Duke, ooh. Ooh. So it's a really bright orange. Like really not, like, not as juicy of an orange. More like the orange rind is involved. But there's a soapiness to it too. The soapiness in here almost smells like clothespins. So just so you know. Mm, you know, I really like this more than I thought I would. This would be very good in a certain blend. So this is, this smells a lot like, um, I've had that bubble bar before from Lush. It's a very, very bright orange, um, with like 
a bubbly soap scent. Really nice, bright side. This one I smelled already and I sent a picture of it to Carla and I was like, whoa. <laughs> this is called Outback Mate. I have no idea what's in this. There has to be some type of mint involved in here. But there's also an earthy situation happening too. There's a ruggedness. Is there a touch of smoke? I can, I don't know what this is, you guys. There's, there's like a outdoorsy greenness. There's a mint. There's a touch of smoke in it. Maybe a touch of woods and earth. I, I don't, I don't know, but it smells really good. Hmm. Maybe eucalyptus. Yeah, I just opened this and I was like, what in the world is this? This is good. Um, give this a try um, if, when she puts it out. I, I will post about this on my Instagram and on her tester um, post on her Facebook channel. This is like a rugged outdoor, mint, earthy, woodsy something, but it's amazing. Okay, this, not, oh, this is the other one I sent her a picture of. I'm just grabbing these out randomly. This is called Capri Seaside Citrus. This name sounds familiar, so I'm wondering if this is a dupe. Okay, I've had this in something. This smells like a body wash I've had. I do think this is a Bath and Body Works type, now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, it is. This almost smells like, you guys know, um, one of the Bath and Body Works type, uh, body washes, lotions, that wasn't ever super popular, but that I really loved, was called French Riviera. That is, that is exactly what this smells like. And Bath and Body Works repackages things, so maybe they repackaged it and called it Capri Seaside Citrus. This smells just like French Riviera. It's aquatic, lightly citrusy, but it almost has like a bubble body wash kind of note to it too. Oh, it's so good. Um, so it's definitely, it's body care ish, but better. <laughs> it's not a standard bath and body work scent to me. And that's why I really liked this one when I came out and then it, they discontinued it. I bought a couple things of it, of the lotion off of like eBay and stuff, but this is French Riviera. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Next one, iced pineapple. This is good. You guys. So good. This is like fresh pineapple. You're putting it in a blender with some ice blending it. Like it just smells like legit fresh pineapple and ice. Touch of creaminess. Maybe, maybe there's just the tiniest touch of coconut milk or something in it. Oh yes, this is a, this will be good by itself, but this will be amazing for blends. Very strong. This says test scent and it says heavenly. I could have sworn I bought this from Carla before. Cause I could have sworn this was the gap heavenly type. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm being so dumb. That's heaven. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be the Victoria's secret heavenly perfume type. So this smells really good, really good, but this doesn't smell like heavenly perfume to me. Heavenly perfume to me, I wore it a lot. <laughs> it's almost like a woody amber or woody vanilla, cozy woody vanilla. This is a more like a, like it's closer to heaven from Gap. Like it's more green, fresh, soapy almost. So while this smells really good, um, like I like this a lot. It doesn't smell like Heavenly from Victoria's Secret. This smells really good though. <laughs> this is like a, almost like a lavender green, not lavender, but it's almost like a bedtime soap scent, but God, that's good. But it doesn't smell like Heavenly perfume. Um, but wow, that's really nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> Uh, this next one, you guys, um, if you follow other vendors, this is wild air. I've talked about it before. I love this oil. Let me explain to you what I've explained about the other vendors. Cause this smells exactly like it. The same strength, all the things this smells like to me when, um, it's summer and you're laying in like 
a field of grass and it's hot and the dandelions are there and you can smell the dandelion flowers and the dandelion leaves and the sun is really hot and baking that greenness of the plants and like bugs are kind of flying around and the summer like sun is just, this is a very hot green plant sunshine. Like this is, this is a scent, the way I explained it before is when you're having kind of the winter blues, this will absolutely make you feel like you are being baked by the sun. It smells like green plants that are hot. I don't know how else to explain that. It's a good thing though. Um, it's very green and herbally, but hot summer sunshine. So, okay, next one is Bake Shop. Um, hmm. Very vanilla-y, like a vanilla extract. Maybe brown sugar. And a cookie dough kind of thing. But it ends up kind of just being like a bake shop scent. It all comes together. Yeah, it's like a cookie dough with a lot of brown sugar. Yeah, yeah. It kind of smells like cookie dough before you put chocolate chips in it. Like a chocolate chip cookie cookie dough without the chocolate chips. Yeah, that's what that smells like. It smells really good. It smells really good. Um, hmm. Yeah, it smells familiar, but that's what that smells like. Next one is laundromat. This one just says coming soon. Okay. I have smelled this before somewhere. It smells kind of like clothespins and like white clouds mixed. Maybe a touch of like downy clean breeze. Like that's the, the it doesn't, I, I'm just saying that because it does not smell like downy blue. It does not smell like Island Fresh Gain. It doesn't smell like Gain. Like it doesn't smell like any of those. It smells like the calmer, smoother, more wet smelling laundries. It smells like, yeah, like a laundromat because you smell the wet stuff coming out of the washer to the dryer. But in my opinion, it smells closest to white clouds and clothespins together. Very good. Okay, dragon's blood. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's dragon's blood scent oil. Oh, God. Incense and earth. Earthy incense. Oh, God. I love that oil. It's very much like head shop incense. Very strong. Okay, three more. Trichomania? I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. This almost smells like mahogany coconut. This is like a woodsy coconut. I don't know what this word means. I'm sorry. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It smells like a woodsy coconut. Um, trichomania? Trich? I don't know. That, sound, that name sounds very weird to me. If you're in the medical field and you hear that name, you might think that's a weird name. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Next one. Ooh, a lot of people are going to be excited about this one. This is just bergamot by itself. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this oil. Oh my gosh. This So bergamot is a citrus. It's a green citrus. Um, bergamot is often in male colognes as top notes. You guys. Carla, yes. This is almost avobathy, but not quite as fruit loopy. More actual citrusy. Um, this is so good. Um, I could melt this by itself easily, but this will be amazing in blends. I could see Tashawn going mad over this. You guys, this is so good. Carla, yes, 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 yes. Very citrusy, very fresh. This smells like it's gonna be very strong. Okay, one more. Oh, Okay, so I sent three pictures to Carla when I smelled these testers. And this was the very first one I sent her. Lavender linen. 
this is such uh, like home run out of the park. This is beautiful, you guys. If you've smelled the lavender vanilla oil that is very popular in the vendor world, this is, it has the same kind of tone. It's like that really velvety lavender. But for, oh my gosh, this is making my mouth water. I wouldn't even put this in a blend. This is like perfection by itself. I am so beyond happy. I hope she adds this because this is a test scent. I hope she adds this to her lineup because wow. Um, the lavender, I'm going to say that it's herbal, but it's definitely not that straight up herbal medicinal lavender. It's like a laundry lavender almost, but very acceptable to any type of lavender lover. And that linen is very like, nothing in here is powdery. Um, this is very smooth, almost a soapy note. Oh my, I want this in a perfume. Oh, this is good. How else can I explain this to you guys? It's, it's a little bit soapy, but not herbally. It's very fresh. It's very clean. Everyone has different opinions of what sexy is, but this smells a little bit sexy to me, like clean skin. Oh, you guys. Mm. This is a must. Okay, that's everything. I know, sorry, I just like fall in love with these scents and I just don't even know what to say because they overwhelm me with how, like, with how they make me feel. Amazing. Carla, you did amazing. So most of these new oils like are yeses. Um, I cannot wait to test them and tell you what I think. Anyway, I have to go take a shower. I have to go to bed. I have to go like spend some time with my husband. So um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Have a good night. Stay well. We'll see you later. Bye.